Greetings and yes, uh, day 33 of the lockdown, uh, still no fishing for us and uh, yes everyone I'm sure is frustrated like every angler out there is that he can't get outside, they can't do what they love or just spend the time outside. But thank you for everybody that subscribed on the channel already, if you haven't please subscribe, hit that bell button and choose all notifications to be notified every time we upload a video. And uh, like the videos if it's helping you guys also mail us to grind elite at asfn.co.za if any of these things we've, we've received so many of those mails and it's always nice to see if you get results on what we show you let us know that's great to know okay now today i'm sharing something very special for the spinning guys all right anyone salt water that's out there Winter time coming, the south coast will get very active, north coast with the Garrick coming through. There's some snook now, hopefully when we get through this lockdown in time, there'll be some snook around. And this is a combination trace I actually saw at Kingfisher, Durban, where the guys demonstrated this trace. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Very effective trace if you want to fish for both snook and Garrick. Alright, so what I'm going to use is 0.55. Uh, fluorocarbon, the Siglon. All right, Yamashita, the white see-through ones, very important. All right, they they are pricey because they work. All right, remember that they do work. We've uh, that's been proven over and over again. Then the Kingfisher orange bead. Then I use some stainless hook, so you can use it over and over again. This is the. Size 1, 3, 4, 0, 7, stainless steel, the double S, all right, and uh, that's pretty much what you're going to need, and then whatever lures, I'm going to use this just as an example to show you guys, this is a Garrick spoon, I just buffed it a bit, sanded it with uh, sandpaper to bring the color back, because they do, this is a good time to use to actually get your spoons all shined up again. Um, now this is a favorite of mine for Garrick especially. So what this allows you, okay, now when you're fishing for, for snook, you're throwing lighter spoons, lighter lures, all of that, and that's all great. What this does, it creates a bit of a daisy chain like they use on the deep sea in front of your spoon for snook, yet your spoon can still lure in something bigger, like whatever might be around, a gary, kakuta, kingfish, whatever, all right. But at the same time, your spoon might be too big in profile for a snook to grab it unless it's a nice big snook but the smaller snook might not grab it and for that reason the daisy chain now what this imitates you've got a couple of small fish that's going to swim in front of each other when you lure this back in and a bigger one chasing them which an ideal situation for a bigger predator to climb in and and wipe them all out you know the whole who's boss thing all right so a very simple concept and we're just going to do the daisy chain setup so however long you want this and that's going to be your casting length you're going to determine through doing this all right uh, but okay let's start let's start with your your daisy chain sections all right we're going to put three on so i'm going to cut three thirty centimeters and that's to allow for the knots and i'm going to take three hooks I'm going to tie them on quickly with a figure of eight. All right, now I've tied three of them, hooks on, 0.55 fluorocarbon, and number one stainless steel hooks. Now guys, keep in mind, this, this whole concept, you can use deep sea, you can, oh, in Mozambique, you're gonna have a ball with this. Uh, anywhere where you're gonna do spinning, off the boat, just trawling this, with a lure behind it, will all work. Next step, <coughs> we're gonna put on the beads. 
and this does it size 4 it's the exact size for the Yamashita skirts and I'll now tell you what size Yamashitas I'm using it's the K70 1.5 okay and then we take out our three skirts Okay, here we go. Three skirts, three beads, and you just rig it up. Beads first. Then the skirt. You pull that bead into the, like you can see it goes in nicely, and that's what it looks like deadly this guys the snook don't leave this all right definitely doesn't leave this we make three of those okay and we've got those three all right Then, for your main piece, depending on how long you want to cast them, that's how far you'll actually spread them out. All right, now, what you're going to do, you're going to leave a section, I would say 50 centimeters, for where your spoon will tie to, okay? And on there, you're going to make a figure of eight, 50 centimeters in. But you're not going to pull this figure of eight closed. You're going to pull it to until it makes the eight. I hope you guys can see that where it makes that eight. Okay. Then I'm going to measure 20 more or less. And I'm going to do the next figure of eight. A lot of times it's actually easier starting at the top working your way down to the spoon. But then your guesstimates must be 100%. Okay, so there the eight still and then another piece up. Do the another figure of eight. Now personally I'll spread them a little bit further than than these. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move my top one. To about there, and then make sure my other one's in the middle. Now what's nice about this, because it's a heavier spoon at the bottom, you can really throw this and you can use a longer rod to get distance. I would love to throw this on that Poseidon edible. On a 5000 reel. Okay, I want to center that. Now that's where I'm going to add my, my daisy chain pieces. Okay, forms the eight. Eight formed here. Then, I hope you guys can see. Go through the one part of the eight, out the other. Okay, so it's in on the one, at the bottom one, and out at the top loop of the eight. All right. And then I'm going to make it the length I wanted, which is fairly short. The reason you do this is when you get bitten off by a snook, it doesn't bite your whole trace off, he bits that, but you just bite that off. And putting steel in front of them just don't get the results in the bites. Now, you see what I'm doing with that one? I'm making another figure of eight on the line, which will slide down to that bottom figure of eight. Okay. 
Now you've got the two figure of eight. You're going to pull both of them nice and tight. And then pull it onto each other. And when they're onto each other, you pull it nice and tight. And there you go, that's your first one. Alright, then cut off the tag. Okay, we've got number one done. Alright guys, there's the principle of it. You've got your little Jay-Z chain and this is going to run in front of your spoon. You're going to measure where you're going to put your spoon. And what we'll use there is a fast clip. So the discs Otherwise, this is going to get shorter and shorter and shorter. And eventually, you'll have to redo the trace. Or you can tie a new piece on here by means of an old bright or something like that. But on the bottom here, you'll have a fast clip. You've got good one handy. Okay, one of these quick clips. And you're going to put one of them on... The end of it, which will just attach your spoon. All right, one of these little fast heads, or they call them quick clips, Kingfisher quick clips. And that I'll space exactly where I want it, so it's more or less the same. And then I'll use a number five or a six swivel in the front of this whole trays. Now I know my length, so you can measure what you're going to cast. And I'll just cut it off the length I wanted. Put on my swivel, and this is where your leader will tie onto this little swivel. You can take, you see on my spoon I've got a, a split ring with a swivel on. You can take all of that off and just clip it straight onto your, your quick clip. There we go. And that's basically the end result. Can you imagine this in the water? The spoon chasing these three little minnows. And you can vary your skirts, guys. Any look, there's a very wide color range in the in the Yamashita Maria Yamashita skirts, and you can really vary and play around to see what works in your area. But uh, you just tie three little uh, skirts on to a daisy chain in front of your spoon, and you open up your chances of catching a lot more fish and a variety of species you won't normally do by just using a spoon. Now obviously I can alternate the spoon with anything heavy enough to cast this to the distance you want. If you don't have to cast that far, you can start fishing much lighter, um, like the Daiwa minnows or any of those lighter lures, the crankbait type lures. You can start fishing on the other end. So guys, yes, that's today's uh, tip and uh, trace for the spinning guys. And yes, Derek season's coming, maybe there's some uh, Quite a few uh, snooker around still when we start fishing again. We're not sure when that is. But thank you for watching. And always let us know if any of these tips work for you in the future. 
and uh, thanks for everyone that subscribed please hit that notification button to get a notification each time we upload a video and like the video thank you for watching see you soon